What's going on filmmakers? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Webster. If you are new here today, we got a very exciting video because Sam Coulter just dropped the LUT bundle and it's absolutely insane. I purchased this a couple of days ago. I just want to give you guys a rundown of what you get with this pack, how much value there is, all the creators that are a part of it, um, and just do a little bit of a deep dive. As you saw from the intro, the footage looks absolutely crazy with these LUTs. I did examples of all the Sam Colder ones, but there's so many other good LUTs in there that I really, really think you guys will be stoked about. So jumping into the computer now, if you go to LUTbundle.com or check the link in the bio, you can see that there's five days left. They're only doing this for a seven day stretch. So after that, this bundle won't exist anymore. And for the value, it is actually insane. You get over a hundred LUTs from 24 different creators and most of them are very, very good. So meet the creators, Sam Colder, Nolan, Benny Ortega is really good, Alan Pallander, Matias from Beautiful Destinations, Aaron Brimall is really good, Jake Irish. There's literally so many talented creators I think you guys are all gonna love. Um, and just for the value for the pack, if you break it down, 70 American dollars, so it's less than a dollar per LUT. It's just really, really good value. Matt Comos are really good as well. This pack includes all the top travel creators, so if that is what you are interested, these LUTs will give you the look that you've been striving for for years because it's the same LUTs that these creators are using, and I think that's 100% believable. Just from my experimentation looking at everything, I think these are authentic to what people are actually using. This isn't just LUTs that they created just for the sake of creating something. I think they genuinely use these, which makes it really cool that now we have the opportunity to use these in our projects as well. So after you downloaded the pack, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what it looks like. So we're hopping into our finder. We have our pack here. We have every different person. So there's 24 different creators total and then breaking down in each pack. So jumping into Sam Colder's SK1, Desaturated, SK2, 4, 5, 6, and 7 underwater. There's a lot of diversity in this pack and that's what I really love. Every creator has 5 to 10 different LUTs. So depending on your footage, there's no secret LUT that works for everything. It requires a little bit of experimentation and figuring out what looks good on your footage. So I have a secret trick for that and that's using Cinema Grade. Um, it's a previewer and grader that I use in Final Cut Pro. And let me show you guys what I love most about this. So this is the intro that you guys saw at the beginning and it just showcases all of Sam Colder's LUTs. So jumping in here to one of them, we can open up Cinema Grade. If you go down here, Cinema Grade is just an effect that you drag and drop onto your footage. And if we go open controls, go over to final grading, over here, hover. Then we have our LUTs here. If we go to bundle, just make sure we have all the LUT bundle ones. This will give you a preview of every single LUT in the LUT bundle to make it really easy to pick which LUT is gonna look good on which footage. So scrolling through Aaron B. Hall's is pretty warm, probably not the best for sort of something more tropical. Alan Palander is a little bit moody, desaturated, Big Sur maybe. You can just scroll through and figure out what's gonna look good on your footage because there's no secret recipe. There's no one magical LUT that looks good on everything. It really takes a little bit of digging to find out which LUT is gonna look good on your footage. So you can scroll down. Ben TK, he has a lot of different variations. He made different ones for different color profiles. So in Cine 4 or S-Log, if you shoot on Sony, which is really awesome. And then scrolling down, it's just a never ending list. And I think there's so much diversity in this pack that no matter what look you're trying to go for, you're gonna find something in this pack. So if you wanna search in Cinema Grade, you can just do search Sam. And now I have Sam's six different LUTs that he included, SK1, Desaturated Greens, SK2, SK4, SK5, SK6, and then the underwater one. So for this one, I used SK2, and I thought that looked really good. And if you close Cinema Grade in here, you can dial back the LUT to figure out how much of it you want exposed. So that's 0%, that's 100%, and then dialing it back to 60%, I thought that looked pretty good. One thing to keep in mind, at least with Sam's LUTs, as they're very, very powerful. I think there's a lot of contrast. So make sure you're dialing it back to make sure you're getting the look that you want and try and keep it as natural as possible. That is all I have for this quick video, guys. I hope you guys liked the little rundown of the LUT bundle and what you guys get in the pack. The value is honestly insane, and I think everyone can justify $70 for the amount of LUTs. I think the value that you get in this pack is actually insane. For $70, over 100 LUTs and supporting 24 of your favorite creators, I think this is a no-brainer. If you guys are interested, check the link in the bio to go get your LUT bundle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.